Priest is bristling with confidence as always. Damian doesn't think there's anyone who could truly stand up to him. A Money in the Bank winner, multiple championship reigns. Priest's resume does speak for itself. And it says, I am to be feared. With Priest in the ring, there's a sense of grim foreboding in the air. Yeah, knowing Priest is a safe bet that this thing's going to get violent. He's not going to hold anything back. Finn Balor has arrived. Say hello to the Prince of Judgment. And his opponents first, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, he is one half of the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor. The Balor Club has been disbanded. The only support this man needs is from his family in the Judgment Day. I hate to agree with you on this, Corey, but you're right. Balor has never been more dangerous, more competitive, more successful than he's been with the Judgment Day. He added the undisputed tag titles to his resume as part of the Judgment Day, and Balor's leadership has brought championship glory to every member of the group. And the Prince has also taken his rightful spot back in the main event picture, where he so rightfully belongs. Judgment Day has arrived for anyone in the ring with Balor tonight. Dirty Dom is on the loose. On the loose. I'm pretty sure he's a free man. Yeah, and the streets are saying it's going to be a good night for Poppy. And representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, the NXT North American Champion. Dirty Dominic Mysterio! The toughest young superstar in all of WWE and in Cell Block 6. Well, Dom has had big shoes to fill, and he has certainly done all that he can, for better or worse, to make a name for himself in this industry. We've got triple threat action here tonight. No disqualifications, no count outs. This is a match that favors the opportunists. There can only be one winner, and the one who strikes at the right moment will score that impressive victory here. Priest able to adapt. The springboard attack fails to land. to reverse that one. Oh, did we just see a tooth fly out? Great reversal. Oh, what a knee. Big forearm. Good golly, Miss Murray. Oh, what a clubby blow. Oh, kick right to the back. Boom. Dominic able to avert that. Side headlock applied. Oh, that hurt. That'll ring your bell. Balor not exactly looking like the best version of himself after that one. Priest dished out severe punishment, and his opponent is feeling the effects. Danger is constantly lurking in a no disqualification match. Interference has to be a concern for these superstars. While it certainly can be a factor, I don't think it should be a concern. The only thing you should be concerned about is getting the win. Balor setting up! 
And if you're on the receiving end of that move, you got to be rethinking a few things. That is, if you can think at all right now. Taking this to the floor. And he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. What's he going to do here? The foot DDT. Boom. And what's he looking for here? Nice. That'll need a wake you up or knock you out. Whoa. Not quite yet. And now gets tossed into the ring. Submission being applied. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to win. He better think of a quick count. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. That's a counter with style. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Ouch. Oh, the jaw getting rattled. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment, it really builds in these type of matches. Big forearm. He climbs into the ring, wards off that offense from Priest. What grace, float over the DDT. Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. Four, two. I didn't think this match was close to over. Dominic Mysterio with the first of what could be three triple verticals. Paying homage to Eddie Guerrero. Dominic for a third. There it is. Oh, 19-16. He can end it here. Gets the shoulder up and one. This isn't even close to over. Heading back to the ring. Oh, what a forearm. Ooh, does he get him here? He's able to beat a two count. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. He leaves the ring and there's no count outs in this one. He's taking this to the floor now. Able to avoid there. Pain. What's he going to do here? Oh, that hurt. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. Elbow drop right on point. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Vicious right forearm. Oh, that hurt. That'll ring your bell. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Immense pressure being kept on Balor. Yeah, and this is the danger of a fully focused Damian Priest. See what you're made of. Ah, oh, gut check. Nice snap suplex. We're not done just yet. Part two. And looking for the trifecta. 
was an unpredictable one, but when it was all said and done, only one man could be left standing. One man out of three. It was always bound to lead to a little chaos.